The final question today comes from Maddie Morin. Maddie graduated from this school, John Oliver Secondary, from a program called Take a Hike. Maddie will tell us about how some of his teachers has changed his life and educated his heart. We would like for you to take a look at the screen again, Your Holiness, and see Maddie's story. When I was really young, uh, I dealt with a very chaotic home life. And um, I would come to school with no lunch to eat. Um, I wouldn't be shown how to take care of myself, so I'd have dirty clothes on. Um, I'd have greasy hair and yellow teeth. And honestly, I didn't really know how to communicate with people. So um, with that, I, I didn't really feel comfortable um, connecting in the social place that is school, right? Here's the bottom line. When I went to Kingsford Smith in grade seven, um, I graduated out of the school thinking, okay, I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna succeed in life. I'm gonna graduate. I'm gonna be one of the only people in my family to graduate. I'm gonna make my mom proud. I'm gonna help out my family and that's my goal, right? And then uh, grade eight came around and I hung out with the wrong people and I kind of forgot about that. I forgot about that dream and my passion, and my inner flame and what I'm good for, what my resources are. And um, I uh, ended up in alternative school. In that school, we went for runs and jogged five kilometers every second day. And um, <clears throat> that really taught me how to be strong mentally and um, how to uh, push through my uh, suffering and discipline myself. They, um, they really challenged us to, um, to reach higher levels in our, in our personalities and to actually dig deep and um, to uh, do things to the full capabilities that we, we can because they believed that we were capable of doing the best that we could and if we didn't, then um, that's a shame on us. But they really motivated us to uh, run marathons, to actually go through with the full 42 kilometers, to actually um, go through with running a 10 kilometer run after finishing a marathon, like the day after, no rest, just kind of. They would prove to us that we're capable of more than we're, we believe that, we're capable of more than we believe so, you know, like, no matter what we go through, we can uh, achieve whatever we want. And that's, that really touched my heart, and uh, that's really what the teachers were really trying to teach us, is that we're stronger than we believe we are. Wonderful. Wonderful. So all my life, I've had a very strong connection with my mother. Mother? Yeah, my mom. And I'm, my question to you is, a good relationship with your mother necessary to the education of your heart? Oh, yes. No question. Uh, I always telling people, uh, my own case, uh, what, what is your, your father? What was your father like? Uh, my father, he, uh... he, he... My father, he passed away. I, I didn't get to meet him. Two years. Yeah. My, my mom has pictures and I just got pictures and he looks just like me. And he'd be proud. He'd be proud if he was here. Looks, you lose your noise. I mean, nose, same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly really? the same, yeah. <laughs> yes, I think one uh, I, th I think most important uh, for compassionate mind is our mother's affection. We uh, born from our mother. Uh, and next, I think at least three, four years, the mother's affection with mother's milk. Uh, 
so important for our survival uh, and for our sort of proper development, uh, not only physical but also emotionally. Uh, biologically, we are compassionate mammals because we are social animals, because we were born, because we we grown up, at least uh, early period, because of the few few years. So obviously, I think among your friend, I think you will know those. Uh, boys and girls who received maximum affection from their mother, I think in deep insight, much more calm. Secure. Uh, secure. And those uh, son, cause the, cause the, uh, uh, people, young people, or even to the people now, uh, at the young age, lack of sufficient mother's affection, mother's affection, or sometimes unwanted child, or mother abandoned. abandoned. No matter superficially very successful, but as a human being, deep insight, difficult. So you are very fortunate. In my own case also is my mother, uneducated, farmer, illiteracy, illiterate. illiterate, very, very kind mother. So quite, I, mean, I always say 100%, the basis of my compassionate mind come from my mother. So you are inspired some difficulties as a love, affection, which you received from your mother, I think really precious, really precious. Uh, and then also, you see, the difficult life, sometimes, you say, helpful to gain some sort of inner strength. Life, easy life, right? Sometimes, say, when such person, when come across some difficulties, then completely sort of demoralize. Person, even nation, nationwide, you see, those nations who are passing through difficult, the nation's sort of inner strength, much stronger. I think European continent, for example, the generation who faced Second World War and immediately after Second World War, I think these, that generation, really very, very tough. The younger generation, you see, who never sort of experienced that, sometimes easily complain, a lot of complain. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Canada as well as America, I think both, you see, your own country, you see, no foreign sort of uh, invasion of these destructions. So maybe, I don't know. But you know better, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 